Hello, my name is Nino Tropiano and I'm an independent filmmaker based in Dublin and Rome. The title of the project is Ndoto Ya Samira, which in Swahili means Samira's Dream. This is a feature-length documentary of about 90 minutes, which chronicles the efforts of Samira, a young woman I accidentally met in Zanzibar during a research financed by an Irish foundation called Simon Combers Media Fund. Basically, I decided to follow her life and, um, as if by magic, ended up after seven years with a very significant uh, film documentary. It's a coming-of-age tale, but also a great story of redemption. This film has, uh, is full of stories, as you can imagine, because I, I traveled uh, for over seven years backwards and forwards between Dublin or Rome, wherever I was based, and Zanzibar. And uh, it was particularly uh, difficult times. But, uh, so I can, I can tell you so many uh, old stories about, odd stories about <clears throat> my adventure in Africa. But I, I would like to share with you one in particular which, uh, which happened by the time I finally finished my film and I was invited, invited to screen my film at the Zanzibar Film Festival. And I really wanted to, because the film is, you know, a uh, uh, particularly representative of Swahili culture. And uh, what happened was that it was initially scheduled at half seven at night time, uh, but at the last minute it was uh, cancelled. Uh, there was a live music concert and people for two hours danced and laughed like there was no tomorrow. And then uh, they rescheduled my film again. So at about half nine or ten, the film restarted. And much to my uh, pleasant surprise, people stuck around. Um, the old fort was, uh, was uh, to a pack audience capacity, it was packed basically. and. Uh, the people remained glued to the screen till the very end. That was possibly the best reward so far I've received for this film. That accident, that event, uh, pushed me to consider the idea to go back to, Tanz to Tanzania and or Zanzibar uh, and really screen my film, you know, everywhere, even in remote villages. Now, uh, COVID restrictions may represent a bit of an obstacle, as we know, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm very much interested, uh, I'm very focused on raising uh, some funds to go back uh, in Africa and, and really show and promote this film, because it, it actually can be a, an extraordinary tool to raise awareness, especially among people and uh, young African women in, Tanzan in Zanzibar and Tanzania. My superpower, I suppose, um, would be my enhanced sixth sense I developed in making this film in Africa. Uh, I tr trusted my gut feeling when I met Samira at first in 2009. When, when during uh, an initial interview made a really strong statement about what she wanted, what did she want to achieve in her life. And uh, I've learned to trust my instincts more and more. So I will use to my veil uh, for the next project. Mm -hmm.